so I have been looking for a custom ROM on the Redmi Note 10 Pro that would have really great customizations like your quick setting panel will look like this it would be having call recording right out of the box you can see your battery cycles in the battery settings it would have multiple charging animations that you can choose from anx camera by default banking app should be running right out of the box here the ir blaster should be working fine dr info should stay l1 the finger mid scanner the face unlock everything should work just right it would have double tap to sleep on the home screen you can very conveniently lock your device without touching the power button it should also have the big lock screen clock font of android 12 what if i told you i found that rom yes the name is a little bit weird but what is up guys this is Tiro back with another video on the redmi note 10 pro and today in this video i'm gonna be showing you the msm extended xr vx.r build and this is the 16th october 2021 build on this particular device and if you don't know how to flash a custom rom on your redmi note 10 pro you can just follow the card from the, the right side of your screen let's begin this rom is still based on android 11 of course not android 12 rom as of now and this rom i feel is really really stable except for one bug which i'll talk about in the later part of the video so first things first let me show you the stock dialer which is the oxygen os dialer and it also has the call recording now this is how the stock oxygen os dialer looks like as you can see and if you want to go to the settings you just tap here on the three dots then go to settings from here in the sound and vibration you need to change some things like the audio format make sure it is changed to AAC by default it will stay on AMRWB that simply does not work for me at least and here just click on this AAC audio format then from here if you want auto call recording you just enable this or you can just record it from the call dialer or the UI and whenever you are placing a call it will look like this and there you will get the dialer or the call recording option right here and you can stop or like resume the recording from right here i have auto call recording that's why it's recording already but yeah with this button you can record or stop recording it has the battery cycle seeing option in the battery settings if you want to scroll down there we have these design battery capacity the current battery capacity the charging cycle and the battery temperature as well so all these things you can get to see from right here in the battery settings which you cannot find in most roms also there are the extended idle manager then the smart charging smart cutoff then the battery charging warning the battery server adaptive battery also there is the thermal profiles so if you want to tweak power apps thermal profiles from right here you can do that like i did for the entry benchmark and stuff and if you want to see the full battery usage you just tap here you can see the full battery usage from right over here and if you want to see the screen on time and stuff of course they are there and in terms of the battery life it should be really decent you can definitely get seven hours of screen on time with this rom almost and yes i have been getting about six to seven hours of screen on time with 120 hertz running all the time so no issues with the battery life either here and if you want to see the charging animations so if you go into the extras in the charging animation you will find this charging animation enabling option and from here you can change the charging animation actually and you can have the background totally black if you want to enable this one you can and here are the charging animations that you can find in this rom talking about the customization it has huge customization the like i have customized the quick setting panel you can see from the screen this is how it looks like but there is a catch with this customization or without it even i have tried without customizing the quick setting panel the quick setting panel just lags whenever you go into your quick setting panel from anywhere even if you are watching a video or even if you are not even if your phone is in like normal idle condition like you are just staring at the home screen if you pull down the notification panel or the quick setting panel the ui will just lag and the fps just drops you can see the fps from the screen yes the quick setting panel is buggy over here and that is not something which i'm a fan of like I have no idea why the quick setting panel just keeps lagging but I did try to change the scrolling cache and stuff from the customization settings that simply did not help. But this ROM has huge, I mean when I say it huge, I really really mean it. This ROM literally has huge amount of customization. If I show you those, they will simply not end. They are like just amazing amount of customization. You can explore them if you want to. But yeah, this ROM has huge amount of customization. It just doesn't end. And here is how it unlocks. It unlocks very fast with the Fingerbit scanner. No issues I have had with the Fingerbit scanner speed here. So yeah, the Fingerbit scanner is one of the fastest that I have seen 
also the face unlock works just great so no issues with that also there is a app lock so yeah you can use the app lock and there is also notification hiding option for the app lock that too works great so no issues pretty much with the security stuff like fingerprint scanner face unlock app lock everything is just perfect you will notice that there is a black border in front of the camera so that really helps when you are making a video call or something that will have less glow on your feed on the video call so yeah that feature is also there but also the face unlock is working perfectly fine here no issues whatsoever talking about the google assistant okay google so yeah google assistant works perfectly fine here and also the google photos has unlimited backup over here like the pixel backup so no issues with those either Two very convenient things that I like over here that we have the double tap to sleep in the home screen and that works great no issues whatsoever also the widgets and stuff in the home screen as well works super fine here and the stock launcher here is the launcher X and that is having a lot of customizations too you can change the icon size the icon fonts etc and all those things you can customize with ease so this is the external 812 that is the Android 12 clock that I'm using but you will also get these many lock screen clock options and here are the benchmarks like the n 2 and Geekbench score of this ROM with a CPU stress test now the only bummer here again is the quick setting panel whenever you go into it it straight up lags and it makes the ROMs like experience a lot less like enjoyable in my opinion every time I go into the quick setting panel I become like very sad because it starts lagging and you can definitely notice that when the FPS drops in a 120Hz AMOLED display. So yeah, definitely I can see there is a huge lag in quick setting panel. If you find that or if you are someone who really swipe on the quick setting panel multiple times in a day for apparently no reason almost. If you do that a lot, I would say stay away from this ROM. This ROM will piss you off. So definitely do not flash this ROM if you are someone who uses the quick setting panel just like normally you just swipe down on your quick setting panel and just swipe up normally if you do those just don't okay my pc just went to sleep i guess so yeah if you do those things definitely stay away from this rom but i would say if you're someone who wants these customizations if you want the call recording all the time or if you want a stable call recording option in your rom like right out of the box or if you want to watch you know his dialer to be there right out of the box then if you want to monitor your battery charging cycle all the time and if you want the charging animations to be there and i mean you can change the charging animations over here so yeah these things definitely makes the msm extended xr rom a lot different and a lot better from other custom roms but again the quick setting panel is a bummer as you can see it supports qualcomm aptex hd and stuff also the sbc is supported all the codecs are working perfectly fine and the sound quality via bluetooth and the like headphone jack as well is just great so yeah except for 64 megapixel mode everything should be working fine but the 64 megapixel simply is not working here i have to close the camera i guess so right now it's working but again with the anx camera the 64 megapixel mode is kind of broken here and one thing is that in the recent panel this is how it looks like we still have this screenshot and the clear one app and the clear all also you have lock app option you can see the free ram status from right here from the bottom and you can share the screen from right here also if you want to go into the split screen or something you can check that out from these icons like if you click on this icon you can get those options from right here and of course three finger screenshot gesture and stuff is there there is the long screenshot edit share and delete options too so all those things you can get here if you don't want too much of these things but if you still want to have a camera and the whole ui to be almost perfectly stable if you want those i would say stick with the cr droid rom the specific build i made a video of you can check out that video from the card that is my conclusion let me know in the comments what do you guys think give this video a thumbs up if you liked it share this video with your friends if you feel like please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is Tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now